Allen down in the Royals dugout. First of all, let's talk about that, the maturity you've seen over the years. I mean, Edison Volquez, first inning. Bases loaded, nobody out. He even bobbles a ground ball, and in the end, only one run allowed. Yeah, well, you know, there was no panic there. Veteran guy, he knew who was running. He knew he had time, so he bought a little bit, but uh, he knew he still had time to get him. Like I said, there was no panic there. Dave, how proud are you personally about some of the numbers that we just talked about, and in particular, how you got these guys to throw strikes? Well, I, I think a lot of it was just maturity on a lot of these guys' part. You know, they they got a couple of years in the big leagues under their belt, and they started figuring some things out. I mean, there was there's always some tweaking to do to be with mechanics, but but uh, you know the philosophy the, the philosophy has to be attack the strike zone, attack the hitters, trust your stuff, believe in your stuff, and trust and believe in your defense. But uh, you know they have to buy into it, and you you got to let guys make sure they understand you can't go up there pitching away from contact. You have to pitch to contact. You start pitching away from contact, you're going to fall behind in the count. When you do that, bad things are going to happen. Dave, you mentioned the word tweak. How long will it be before you see a guy, before you'll make some adjustments and you'll tweak him and you'll you'll get him right? How long does it take you to, to see it, to sense that and see it? Well, it, it, it's, it's, it's an individual type thing. It, it, it depends on the guy. Some guys get it quicker than others. You know, back in September of 2013, Ventura got it right away. The couple little adjustments we made with him moving his hands and lowering his front side a little bit he took to that pretty quickly and got it Duffy got it pretty quickly and you know I'm not going to name guys that that didn't get it quite as quickly but 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 for the most part guys pick it up pretty quick but you know you you, you have to be convicted of what you're trying to sell and, and you have to back up what you're telling them with, with, with information to assure them that it will work and once they see once they see progress with it once it works for them then then you've got them sold and they can just trust their natural abilities after that what do you see in Volquez? And, and you, know, you, you know he has a lot of walks. What is it? Is it his lower half? Is it his upper half that you have to work with him on? Well, yeah, the, the one thing with him is, you know, I, I, I preach it all the time, balance and separation over the rubber. You know, being balanced over the rubber and getting your hand out of your glove on time, as soon as that lift leg starts to go down, the hand has to come out of the glove. In Eddie's case, a lot of times he gets his hand out of his glove late, therefore his foot gets down early and his, his, arms, his arms drag. He never doesn't get to his arm slot on time. And then he has to really, you know, pull his front shoulder offline to get the uh, to get the arm to come through. And when that happens, he pitches up in his own. Dave, we've we talked so much about the defense, and for good reason. We just had two good defensive plays by Kane and Mustakis in the bottom of the first inning, and how your pitchers have said, you know, they will throw more strikes because of the defense behind them. And yet, I got to thinking about it today. You know, I, I think the pitching staff deserve some credit as well for the good defense because they throw strikes. I mean, this defense is always on their toes. Yeah, well, I mean, you, you look over the years, any good pitching staff has a, has a pretty good defense behind them. Uh, when you look at the Atlanta pitching staff, and they had those three Hall of Famers on it. They gave a lot of credit to Andrew Jones. You know, so um, every good pitching staff has a good defense behind them, but we feel our defense is the best in all of baseball, and, and we don't see that changing anytime soon. But you still have to attack the strike zone. You still have to throw strikes. Not only throw strikes, you have to throw quality strikes. So, uh, you know, you, you combine all that together, and, and, and you're going to get what we're getting right now. You mentioned best in all of baseball. That describes your bullpen. How about the fact that they've gotten better? Can you... Can you share that with us? Well, power arms, you know, power, you know, very talented individuals down there. You know, not just the back three, the guys that are in front of them, too, very talented. Uh, you know, our, our organization has done a great job of, 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 of garnering talent, drafting talent, developing talent, and there's a good mix down there. Uh, you know, so, but again, the maturation process with, with, with some of these younger guys that aren't real young anymore, but just trusting that good stuff and attacking the strike zone, but... You know, typically relievers are, 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 are pitchers that have trouble throwing strikes, but again, getting them to buy into it just like you do the starters. Well, there's still been a big transition in the right direction since you took over, Dave. So great work, and uh, here's to Volquez being strong the rest of the game.